Sunday, 13th of May. I think while the rest of Europe was watching the Eurovision Song Contest, we were here <laughs> in the tent, in the rain. But now it seems to be, uh, now it seems to be nice. But we've said that before. In the morning it's been nice, and then by the time the afternoon comes, all the rain clouds start coming. But we'll see how that goes. Now we uh, have some breakfast, then we'll get back down there on the road and go that way to Konya. Okay, back on the road. So we camped up there, on the edge of the wood there. Not far from the road, but a great spot, nice and quiet. Let's start cruising again. On this road now all day to Konya. That should be nice. Start heading into the hills now. Uh, okay. 60 kilometers to Konya. Climbing as well, but quite a steep hill, really. <laughs> uh, quite a steep hill. Yes, and long. <laughs> and long, yeah. Uh, long, straight. Slog here of a hill. Oh, that was a long, straight climb. Get up in the valley down below there. It didn't take too long. Yeah, that was a long hill. Yeah, that was, that a, was long. a long hill. <laughs> So we're now 1,548 meters once again. Yeah. Hopefully that quite well. Yeah. Okay, let's go out to the restaurant just up here in a few kilometers from somewhere. Hopefully it's open. We just turned up in this restaurant here. It's a place where you sit on the floor. Yeah. Never tried that before. Yeah. Not too good. Making a fire here. It'll be nice and warm in here soon. Uh, let's try that. Yes, <laughs> it's a roadside restaurant. Very nice. We have never tried before to sit on block like that. I think this is right, Kyrgyzstan or uh, something kind of thing you are doing in the desert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> First try. So. Take your shoes off and then sit here. I didn't know we were going to have an experience for lunch. We just thought it was just eating somewhere. It was like Mm, Let's see. Try this. What we get to eat. Yeah. Okay. Now we're in this restaurant here. Fire is roaring away. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are we going to get to eat? Some kind of chicken we ordered, I think. Yeah. So we don't know. <laughs> maybe lamb. Maybe. Yeah, we don't know. But mm. he she, he he say we have chicken. So mm. we hope so. It will be chicken. Yeah. Because. We'll that. Oh, now it's nice and warm. Oh, this is a good oh, place. It's filled with some sauna. Yeah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> so, this is the best place we've ever had lunch so far on the trip. Sit on the floor here. <laughs> some kind of honey salad. Real honey from the. <laughs> the nature, I think, yeah. Nice and warm in here on top Look of the at this. Oh, we got like it looks like all the tables in the restaurant there. Yeah. It's in their own little room like this. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. Very fortunate. Better and better now we've got nice warm bread, potatoes. And onions. And how cozy is it to sit inside here oh, with that lovely. fire going? It's fantastic. Lovely and warm now. Oh, Great. Perfect, perfect. Potatoes? That's a long time ago I had a potato. Oh yeah, I forgot what they were. We thought we are just going to have like a sandwich or a toast or something. Mm. Really tasty. The bread. So tasty. Brilliant. Oh. It feels some heaven. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's warm and it's fresh bread. Mm. Look so, trying that. very good. Okay, this is what we call lunch break ultimate. Ultimate. <laughs> now, uh, chicken's turned up. So, this is compensation for last night when we couldn't get the cooker going and we had to eat raw carrots and tomatoes yeah. for our evening dinner while well, everybody else was watching uh, Eurovision Grand Prix. We were in the tent eating carrots. But now we've uh, compensated for it by a factor of about 10. <laughs> So, oh, and it's getting very warm by this one. Mm. Mm, perfect. Mm. 
kind of cream cheese, smoked cream cheese. It's just fantastic to dip the bread in. <laughs> It just shows you just never know what's around the corner on these trips. One day you're biking down the road, one minute you think, oh, should we just get a toast? And the second minute you're in here with luxury lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even knew if you could find anything to eat on this. They drove actually just bought some snacks from the petrol station just to mm -hmm. yeah. get by. Yeah, shame you never know what's going to um, turn up. Then you can look forward to these yeah. things. They just turn up and happen all of a sudden. I have maybe have a problem with I come back to my school is lunch time. I have only a little piece of bread and some uh mom, how do you say it? Liver paste. Liver paste on Pate. Pate and so you have cucumber and two tomatoes and now I'm out now I'm here and I'm now mm. we can eat chicken and all kind of things. And onions, all things. I think I'm in heaven here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all that food you've just seen we've been feasting away on, that cost uh, 15 pounds, what, 150 kroners. <laughs> so we had no idea what it was going to cost. It could have cost three times as much. But uh, we says it's worth every penny. It didn't matter what it cost. But, uh, so in Denmark, it cost 150 kroner. Det er altså lidt for at vi har fået så meget. It costs the same as a McDonald's in Denmark. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in our own private room and our own, oh. own heater. <laughs> yeah. okay. Excellent place. Five stars for this place. I think I'll put a review on Google for this place. That was good. <laughs> now we should have no problems getting to Konya now with the energy level. It takes to please a biker like a home. Mm. Room, dry shoes and nice food. <laughs> So, this is the first time you've tried a restaurant like this. <laughs> These small rooms here. Yeah. We sat in here. Just cleaning it up on the floor. Amazing place. <laughs> Ever seen a restaurant like this where you all have your own small room? All well, the families are in all the other rooms. There's a family there. Nice little park. Another family in there, you can see. You take your shoes off and you sit on the on the floor basically. If you're ever in Turkey, on the road to Konya, come past this sign here. See this place here. Stop, it's well worth it. Best lunch we've had so far on the trip. So that was a good, that's a good. Okay, we we'll carry on to Konya. Now I think we've got energy enough to get there. Now let's see if we can actually get the bikes moving again after that big lunch. It's never easy just to start up again after lunch, but luckily we have a downhill. So that might help a little bit. downhill for the last 10 kilometers <laughs> since the restaurant still going down it's going to be a very fast uh, 30 kilometers to come <laughs> carries on like let's see how it goes how is still going down okay now we get the usual afternoon downpour and then Spoke too soon about the hill because we have a huge hill to get over. So. Amazing. These biking trips one hour ago we were sitting in a nice small room as warm as toast. Now we're outside in the rain, <laughs> choking down again. Oh, you never know what's going to happen. Okay, that was the second climb today. I've nearly one and a half kilometers in height. What's this one? 1,460 meters.
Den er marker. <laughs> no idea it was such a big city. Turkish people like loud music everywhere. <laughs> what town is it, Konya? So out of the wilderness and as normal into luxury. Very strange. We came from mud and the forest is falling and then standing here in a hotel in a city where we didn't actually know was so big 1.3 million people. <laughs> Now we've got a porter to take our bags and everything. Yeah, you don't even have to take my bags. Okay, where's the room? Uh, it's... Let's see. And no muddy shoes all the way. No, in the forest. <laughs> oh. Ah, this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes, very good. We like cheap countries and get value for money. <laughs> okay, so this is today's hotel. Right in the center of... Uh, Konya, so hmm. checked in here and we're gonna have a look around the town now. Should be an interesting place to have a look at. Okay, new place to explore. Oh yeah, good with the wave guns. Okay, sounds like it's good to be a noisy town. <laughs> <laughs> 